during the first year of life, the growth and development is very rapid. And when we've looked at some of the studies that have been conducted in, with domestic horses and, and observations in feral horses, we can see that what is the impact of early exercise? And perhaps one of the most dramatic things is that we need to be providing perhaps more exercise to young foals and to young horses than what we currently do. Because if we compare horses that start training as two-year-olds compared to later on in life as three-year-olds, we find that if we start uh, training them and having a trial, what we call a trial start with them as two-year-olds, those horses have a longer and more successful career than horses that start as three-year-olds. If you then provide more exercises and they actually have a race start, so there's, there's a greater uh, galloping load on those, those, those horses, what we find is that there is an increase in what we call the odds ratio of them having a longer and more successful career. So one of the sort of the key ways to think about this or to identify this is when you look at how rapidly a foal develops. It's capable of standing within an hour of birth and then within the first week of life that foal is able to walk with its dam up to seven kilometres per day easily. We've looked at whole foal crops, particularly in Australia and New Zealand, and we've followed those prospectively to look at injuries and to understand what is going on with regards to career and career success has indicated that the earlier you start working with horses, the earlier they start training, the longer and the more successful their career. So really when we talk about the idea of racing and racing two-year-olds, what we're actually doing here is working with nature and with the evolutionary history of the horse and priming that animal while it's receptive and capable of responding to the loads and the challenges of race training so that it can have a a longer, more successful career and we can reduce the risk of musculoskeletal injuries.